Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at subtracting a decimal number from a whole number. So first of all we're going to look at question 21a. Now there are a number of different ways we can do this but to begin with we'll have a look at the column method. So if we write our 8 units and 2.27. Now a lot of children find it very useful to place invisible zeros in here just so they can see what's been taken away. So first of all if we can't borrow from the zero here can't borrow from this zero but we can go all the way over to our units column and borrow a unit from here and bring it back to our tenths. Then we can borrow from our ten tenths to make it nine tenths and bring it over to the hundredths and then we can complete the calculation. So we have ten hundredths minus seven hundredths to give us three hundredths. Nine tenths minus two tenths which is seven tenths. Don't forget to line up these decimal points, it's very important. And then we have seven units, subtract two units which gives us five units. So the answer to the first question is 5.73. And next we're going to look at question 21b. And for this we're going to look at mental options and how we can do this in our head. So, if we have, if we write out the question, which is 6 subtract 4.76. And to begin with, if we subtract the two units, so that's 6 subtract 4, which gives us 2. Then we can take the decimal part away from those remaining units. So that's two units subtract 0 0.76. And for this, we could take away the 0 0.7 part first from the two units, and that would give us 1.3. Then we need to take away that 0 0.06 which would, which would leave us with 1.24 as our final answer. And next we're going to be looking at question 21c. And for this we're going to change the, the numbers into money, which a lot of children find very helpful. So the original question was 4 subtract 1.02. And if I change that into money, which is £4, subtract... One pounds and two pence. And we use our standard column or vertical method to subtract uh, the two numbers. So here we can't borrow from this zero, so we have to come all the way over to the units column. So we're borrowing from the units and bringing it over to the tenths. And then we're borrowing from those tenths and bringing it over into the hundredths column. So then we have ten subtract two hundredths which is eight hundredths nine tenths minus zero tenths which is nine tenths don't forget that decimal point and then we have three units minus one unit which is two units so if for this question it would be in money but for the question on the original um, arithmetic sheet it would be 2.98 and for the final question 21d we have a missing number so if i rewrite the question so we have something subtract 5.35 and that equals 3.65 now I'm going to work out what this missing number is so if we use the inverse operation which is just using the opposite operation and the opposite operation for subtract is to add so if we take the two numbers here so that's 5.35 Five, and we're going to add 3.65. When we add these together, it should, or it will, give us our missing number. So, it's just straightforward column addition now. So, five hundredths add five hundredths, ten hundredths, carry it over. We've got one tenth, add three tenths, add six tenths, which is ten tenths, carrying over into the units column. And then we have one unit, five units, and three units, which is nine units. So we have a final answer of nine. 
So 9 subtract 5.35 equals 3.65. Thank you very much for watching today and I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.